Hello everyone, this is Joe with Southeastern Frontiers, and today I'm hiking the Arrowhead Trail at Montesano State Park in North Alabama. <music> The Arrowhead Trail is a 6.1 mile, moderately trafficked loop trail in Montesano State Park. I'm hiking the loop in a counterclockwise direction today, starting at the parking lot off of Montesano Boulevard, just across from the entrance to the Burt Museum. Hiked this way, most of the trail can be described as a lovely walk through the woods, with some moderate to steep uphill a little over halfway through. The trail starts out fairly level, and then gradually descends down to a lovely spring where water pools behind a small stone wall. The trail then continues for a long, fairly flat stretch to the junction with the Natural Well Trail. I then take the Natural Well Trail steeply up until reaching the Natural Well itself. After the Natural Well, the trail continues uphill, but at a bit more gradual pace until crossing the Arrowhead Trail. You can either take the Arrowhead Trail back to the parking lot or the Natural Well Trail, which parallels it. The Natural Well Trail has a washout along the way, but hikers have beaten a pretty clear path through it. The Arrowhead Trail has these light blue blazes to follow, so you don't get lost. Along the first part of the Arrowhead Trail, you are following along the base of some cliffs that can be seen in the distance through the trees. It's one of the nice things about hiking in the winter is the tree leaf cover doesn't block your view, but there are a number of rock formations that you pass by in this first part which are very interesting. Big surprise, there are some daffodils blooming along near the trail. Very pretty. Here we pass through a little gap in the rocks, which is kind of fun. Kids especially have a great time going through this section. Soon after passing through the rock gap, about a mile out from the parking lot, we come to the junction with the Natural Well Trail. We're going to come back out this way on the Natural Well Trail, but for now we're going to stay on the Arrowhead Trail, which jogs up here just a little bit and then takes a left right away to head downhill. Along the trail, there are a few sinkholes. Nothing big or particularly deep, but they're reminders that these hills are riddled with caves. We've had a lot of rain lately, so parts of the trail today are pretty muddy. Especially down here near the uh, lowest part of the trail. But I suspect on the uh, straight level side heading back the other way will be too. Here we have reached the uh, tip of the arrow of Arrowhead Trail. And one of my favorite features of this trail. So down here at the very southern tip of the trail, and also the lowest elevation on the trail. There's a spring. The water comes out of the side of the mountain here. And at some point in the past, someone has built up a little wall here to dam it in. Making a lovely little pond with water running out of it and flowing down the mountain. On hot summer days, it can be fun to come down here and wade in the water a little or splash some on your face. I usually try to time this part of the hike to come near noon so that I can sit here and eat my lunch while watching the water run. And that's what I'm going to do today.
All right, lunch finished and time to say goodbye to the lovely spring and move on. After the spring, there's a long flat stretch heading back up on the uh, east side of the uh, Arrowhead Trail, following along the side of the mountain here. It's a little muddy in places today, but normally it's a very nice trail. All right, we have arrived at the Natural Well Trail. The Arrowhead Trail continues on that way, but we're not gonna go that way anymore. We are now going to switch to following the purple blazes, or violet blazes, and head up this way, which is soon going to turn into a very steep climb to get up to the top of the plateau. This is what I call the dry waterfall. We got to come up a little ways. We have a long way to go, though. We have finally reached the natural well. The natural well, ha well has a fence around it, as you can see here, for good reason. As you approach the edge, hang on to your socks. It's a long way down. Hello! The natural well, which is right behind me, <laughs> it's a vertical cave shaft that is open at the top of it and descends vertically 190 feet straight down. At the bottom of the shaft, the cavern continues sloping down to a total depth of 325 feet below the surface. Thankfully, as you see, there's a fence around the top or it'd be all too easy to fall to certain death. That's a deep, dark hole there. Obviously, this trail was once a road. You could almost still drive down it today if you had a tough enough vehicle. And we have returned to the intersection with the Arrowhead Trail, where we have been before. Previously, we walked up here and took a left to go down the Arrowhead Trail. But this time, I'm gonna go straight ahead and finish this trail out on the Natural Well Trail. There's the Arrowhead Trail. That's the Natural Well Trail. What a beautiful afternoon walk through the woods. This is where a landslide a number of years ago rushed down the side of the mountain and wiped out a portion of the trail. You can see it continues, the road we've been on continues on the other side, but there's a bit of a gully here in between now. But there's a path beat through it, so it's not hard to get through. But it's interesting what a landslide can do. There we go, made it through to the other side. The old road continues. We have reached our final turn. And we go off the road here and up the trail back to the parking lot. We are now following the Trough Springs Trail back up to the parking lot. Here we are back at the parking lot where we started. 